Resident Evil Survivor. When you see the PlayStation logo, you know you're about to play one of the best games in the world. Oh yeah, Resident Evil 2, here we go. It's gonna turn into a can. No? Oh, maybe we might be playing a bit of Tomb Raider. Oh. This game contains scene, but I didn't even get a chance to read it. You can enjoy a very realistic sound by sending sound mode to stereo and using a pair of headphones. Uh, I, I can't put no headphones in this TV. Um, anyway, boys and girls, welcome. This is Mighty Badger here, and we are going to play Resident Evil Survivor, the best Resident Evil game ever made in the world. If you don't believe me, then sit back and watch me play it. Do new, new, new. Ah, load game option. Well, they did, they did mention stereo. Oh, sound. Oh, stereo, what's really on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Let's get out of here. So, basically... No, no, we don't want to do that. This, this is not going, this is not going well. It's like the first video I've done in about five weeks, maybe. Uh, right, here we go, a new game. Uh, well, easy, of course. Resident Evil. Resident Evil Survivor. Now, are we going to get a really cool intro? Like, FMV, Helicopter, uh, Zombies, Nemesis? In 1998, a disaster struck the quiet Midwestern residents of Raccoon City. An uncontrollable outbreak of the umbrella... Okay, so this is set after Resident Evil 3 and 2, I guess. Whatever one comes first. If you want to say number 2 came last, maybe? It's a weird storyline. Anyway, this guy is talking about some some outbreak and umbrella, and if you don't know any any of the story, then uh, I don't know. I can't help you. You have to travel back in time, back to 1996 or seven, nine, six. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, neon, clear, immediate the police station. Well. Believe it or not, this game did come out after Resident Evil 2. And, uh... It's, uh, upgrade? <laughs> well, it should be an upgrade. You're not going to get away. Oh, fuck. I need subtitles for this game. Whee! Look at him go. Yeah! I hope we don't play as him. Nice. This is the hero. Oh man. All these flames again to me. It makes me want to cough. I'm gonna have to cough. <coughs> there you go, I've done it. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah. My headaches and I can't remember anything. My only hope is this gun. What gun? I didn't even pick up a gun. I must remember. I must survive. Okay. Where... Where am I? Oh! I... I don't remember... anything. Who am I? Well, it's gonna be a long night, that's for sure. Right, so... This is a helicopter. We crashed. I don't know why we crashed. I don't even know who I am. But I can hear a dog. So that must mean 
we're in safe hands. Okay, so Resident Evil Survivor is basically a, well, you call it a second first person shooter in a way, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much all you can do in this game. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It's totally different to what we used to in the Resident Evil games, I must say. But you still got the loading screens, like, you know, this, this door opening. And, um, I don't know, everyone goes on about the bad acting that's in Resident Evil 1, but, oh my god, this game takes it to a new level. And, yeah, another issue with it is that you cannot save. You can save your items that you collect throughout the game when you complete it, but if I die at any point, that's it. It's game over. Get up, you blonde man. You... You look familiar, but... Oh. I can't remember I anything. Can't remember. The name Ark Thompson. Ark Thompson, huh? I can't remember anything. I know that this was no way for anyone to die. What? Hey, buddy. So my first first thing to do is just shoot him. We're not going to talk to him. Yeah, take that. Yeah, what you got there? What's this? Ooh, you've obtained the rusted key. So we're not we're not gonna like touch his body and go, oh, I recognise him, but where is he? I don't know. Can we run? No. Yeah, we can. Look at all these pictures. Oh no. Oh, we used the rusted key on that. Oh, what? That's the most most terrifying door out of them. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. <laughs> right into the action. Come on in. Come on, all your zombies. I'm going to eat you up. Oh, more pictures. Did it get back up? Oh, look at him go. Alright, mate. Don't get auto. Reloading. Yeah. So, yeah, unlimited ammo. Or the handgun. Alright, come on. Down you go now. Oh, there's a door. Oh, that's the door I came through. It's okay. Area secure. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, this music, man. That zombie was just like... Ooh, 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 ooh. It was just like... Bop into it. Oh, there's more of them. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Up. Up. Yeah. That's health in this game. Alright, now they're giving us they're giving us a lot of doors to go through here. Uh, let's go through the red one. Oh, oh the music's taking a nice little change. Oh we are, you know what? Those doors did remind me of like a theatre and a cinema thing. Can we run? We can run. Oh yeah. <gasps> Umbrella? I should have known. Alright. What are we doing in here then? The snake to kill. That makes me angry. An old movie screen is hung here. Well, that's brilliant. But that still doesn't give me a reason to be here. Is it really dark for you guys? It's really dark for me. Hmm. Alright, let's try and search these. These little... No. Come on. Alright, let's have a look at here. Let's have a look here. No, we don't want that. Options. Yeah, adjust screen. Can we add like... Can we add like a little bit bright? Maybe? No? Alright, we don't want to adjust then. Um, no. Vibration. Oh, it's on, baby. It's on. Right, um... Your bloody game is way too dark. I'm gonna have to do the TV itself, but... Or maybe I'm just really paranoid and there's nothing in here. 
Come on, don't bullshit me. There must be something in here. No. Alright, I'm gonna check this row. Maybe I just have to just keep touching everything. They were obsessed with the screen, so let's go let's go through the blue doors. And we'll come back here. Yeah. So yeah, if you if you um went on like a mad crazy one nighter to complete this, you could probably do it in like an hour and a half. And well, I decided to play this at like two in the morning. Oh here we go. Whoa shit. Yeah, I decided to play this like two in the morning for some reason. I've gotta be up for a and I've got to complete this game in one sitting. Oh god, why'd I do this? But, um, if it does come to it, there's there's multiple, like, places you can go through. I was locked. Oh, so there was a... Oh god, here he is. Come on. Down you. Yeah, I don't think I've been through the theatre before. So it's quite quite interesting, I must admit. Alright, up the stairs we go. So yeah, enemy wise, so you got all the classics, you got your service, your you know, your zombie dogs. I think hunters are in this game as well. And um Yeah um, Oh god, and crows. And crows. How the hell am I gonna shoot crows? It appears to be a case of some equipment. Oh, this will lead us to... I don't know. Changing the film around? Okay. Why, why are you looking around? You didn't bother looking around in other rooms. Okay, so this poster. No. This is you. This is you's projector. There's no film in it. Well, we know what we need now. Look at this. Look at this cat. Meow. Wow. And what's this? I, I, I don't know any of these films. I'm sorry. Oh. 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 Document. Oh yes. You've obtained report on destroyed Raccoon City. Slide, Raccoon City, after the destruction report. Date, August 5th, 1998. Report from the UBCS member, part one. The bioacid that occurred on May 11th at Lord Spencer's mansion a biochemical laboratory ended on July 25th when members of the STARS team destroyed the entire facility. As of 8 of the 5th, 98, there are no signs of viral leakage in surrounding areas. However, we must continue to monitor the area with extreme caution. Our secret operative, Albert Resca, is MIA and is presumed dead. However, we have just received information that Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield are preparing to report the incident to the press and their police chief. I request that this matter be addressed with the ultimate... Oh, utmost... <laughs> utmost urgency UBCS commander oh I should have Nikolai's voice oh, I was doing, trying to do a really shit Carlos one alright here we go date September 30th 1998 report from the UBCS member part 2 at this moment I am in the clock tower situated above Raccoon City the city is overrun with zombies it is safe to say that Raccoon City has been completely destroyed due to the biohazard. This situation is different from the accident or biohazard in the mansion. We suspect that it was inter internally caused by one of our company researchers, Dr. William Birkin, the creator of both the T-Virus and G-Virus. I have researched both biohazard incidents and noted that there are two issues need to be addressed immediately. The security of the fire is stored in our worldwide facilities and must be improved. Also, we need to re-educate our workers. Biological weapon viruses will surely become our primary product, so they should be handled as such. All personnel should take extreme care not to allow any more biohazards to happen. UPCS Commander Nikolai. Oh, fucking hell, Nikolai. 
update of <laughs> October 6, 1998, we've had extreme difficulty collecting the sample data for the T-Fires contamination and tactical data regarding the POW, the new POW we call Nemesis, was far more vicious and intelligent than we expected. As a result, many UPCS members sent to the area have been sacrificed in the process of collecting combat data. I expect the researchers to analyze the combat data and use it to develop an even more involved ultimate BOW, UPCS Commander Nikolai. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, we'll leave it at that part. Thanks for watching part one, guys. Come back again, and I promise I'll give you a sweetie. Hey, buddy.